everyone, welcome back to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take a look at changing some of the fast Ethernet settings. So in a previous video I showed you how to do a show interfaces command to look at things like speed and duplex. Here we're actually going to tweak them a little bit and we're going to start off with our two router configuration just like in that video and we've got our IP addresses already set up and our interfaces have already been no shut. Let me just drag in my console window for R1. And if I do a show interfaces fast 00, zero you could see that in this line right here, I've got half duplex, 10 megabits a second, and the wire rate is 100 base T. So we're still at 100 megabits, but we can possibly go up to 100 megabits if we do the right settings. So let's see first what will happen if I change one side and statically set it to a speed of 100 while keeping the other side at auto. So I'm going to go into conf t, interface fast 00. Now right now both sides are set to auto so here I'm going to change the speed by doing speed. Let's do a question mark right there and you can see I've got three settings available to me. I could statically set 10 or 100 megabits a second or I could set auto. So the other side R2 is set to auto. Let's see what happens if I set my side to 100. So speed 100. I'm going to just reset the interface by doing a shut and no shut. Exit out both times. So remember I have my side router 1 set to 100 megabits statically but as I go into show interface fast 00, zero Let's see what we've got. Okay, so you can see I'm still at half duplex and I'm still at 10 megabits a second. And you can see here my bandwidth reflects that bandwidth of 10 megs, 10,000 kilobits. Okay, let's just do a quick ping to the other side just to make sure I have connectivity still. And we do, we have connectivity. So if I set the speed of 100 on one side and a speed of auto on the other side, I've got 10. So let's see what happens if I go over to R2 and set that side to a static speed of 100. So go into interface fast 00, zero speed 100, do a shut and no shut. All right, so we'll go exit a couple times, show IP int BR, just ping the other side to make sure I have connectivity. And it looks like I'm good. So show int fast 00 from R2. And you could still see, look at that. I have a half duplex, 100 megabits a second. Maybe I have to reset the other side. Let's do a show int fast 00 on R1. Okay, so you can see there 10 megabits a second. Maybe the setting is stuck. Let's do a show run int fast 00. And you can see right there, speed 100. So let's see if we could go into an interface fast 00, zero, shut, and no shut. Exit out of there. Show int fast 00. zero. And our speed looks like it's still set to 10 megabits a second. Okay, so now let's see if duplex plays a factor in all of this. Go into conf t interface fast zero zero duplex let's see what settings are under there we've got duplex of auto we've got full and we've got fat or a half so let's set the duplex statically to full and i'm going to shut it going to go over to r2 whoops interface fast zero zero duplex let's do full right there shut that So both sides are shut down. Let's do a show run int fast zero zero. And you can see here that both sides have the same interface settings. Let me just do router one's configuration. Okay, so let's compare right here. Ooh. All right, so the big window right here is router one. You can see interface fast zero zero, IP address all ones is shut down, speed static at 100, and duplex is static at full. As I look at R2, interface fast zero zero, shut down, speed of 100, and 
duplex of full. Let's bring both interfaces back up. Whoops. And let's see what we have for speed and duplex. Both interfaces are up. Let me ping the other side. We have success. Let's show int fast zero zero. And now we finally have what we're looking for, full duplex, 100 megabits per second. So we had to do the full duplex, statically set that, and set the speed at 100 for both sides, shut them both down, and then brought them back up for the interface to reset. And finally, what we have is full 100. Now let's see what happens if I set one side to half duplex and reset the whole thing. So conf t interface fast zero zero, duplex half, shut that. I'll also shut down router two. So both sides are shut down. Let me no shut router two and then no shut router one. All right, let's just take a look at the running inter running config on interface fast zero zero from R2. So you can see there I've got it set at half duplex. Let's do a show interface fast zero zero. And you can see there half duplex and looks like our 100 megabits stuck, so that's good. Let's go over to R2. Oh, look at that. I've got R2 duplex mismatch, duplex mismatch on fast zero zero. Let's do a show interface fast zero zero. So we've got full duplex on R2 side, half duplex on R1 side. Let's see what happens if we ping. We have success. Hey, look at that. It's not bad. Let's just do a show interface fast zero zero. Let's see if we have any collisions. Got resets. Uh, it doesn't look like too bad of stuff. And now we got the duplex mismatch on R1. So basically routers are screaming at us that we should change some stuff. Let's just do a show interface fast zero zero on R1's perspective. And it uh, doesn't look too bad. We're re receiving broadcasts, getting some packet stuff. Let's do a ping to the other side, all ones. Oh, and you can see here, finally, if I show interface fast zero zero on R1, looks like it's caught up. We have half duplex 100. And as we look at R2, let's see if, oh, okay, look, we've got full duplex. So there's still mismatch. I thought that R1 had caught up. So one's at half, one's at full. If we do something like ping 1112, repeat 10, uh, 1000, let's see what happens there. It looks like it's going through. And now do a show int fast zero zero. And looks like we don't really have any bad problems with that. It's still making it through. Okay, so this was a quick and easy video of changing the duplex and changing the speed. Got to remember that sometimes if you want the speed to stick, you might have to play around with the duplex settings. You also might have to shut and no shut the interfaces. Also, you might have to play around with the order. You might have to, if it doesn't work the way you expect it to, you might shut down one router first and bring it back up. And if that doesn't work, shut down both interfaces or shut down the other router first and do a no shut. So it's kind of, might take a little work to get the settings you can you want, but you can definitely see here that it is possible to get it at full duplex and 100 megabits a second. You just have to statically set the duplex and speed settings. Thank you very much for watching.